Hey, welcome to the 46th day of my proven sales letter breakdown series that I'm doing for 90 days. So that with that being said, officially we're past the halfway mark. So if you haven't seen my past videos, then make sure to check it out. I'm gonna leave a link to the whole playlist below this video in the description sh section. Make sure to check it out because there's a bunch of cool videos. They are breaking down all sorts of really timeless proven sales letters written by the best of copywriting ever. Uh, from Gary Halbert to Gary Bensavenga, Gene Schwartz, Mel Martin, Clayton Makepeace, John Carlton, you name it. So uh, if if they're uh, a big name copywriter, uh, especially if they're old school, that means I've covered them in, in some way or form. But today I want to take a look at a more recent sales page. And this is actually a, a so-called free plus shipping offer. So actually it's pretty short compared to other sales pages or sales letters that I've broken down before. And this is what we call a direct offer and a direct lead. So with this, with a free plus shipping book offer, basically, you don't necessarily have to beat around the bush too much. You don't have to talk about all those fancy secrets and uh, make a ton of effort to really explain your unique mechanism or something like that. No, in itself, the offer is the thing that is interesting in these types of things. And the lead and the headline itself is totally okay to be about, you know, the product itself. It's like, hey, here's what you get. And if it's an interesting offer, and it is in this case, because it's a free plus shipping offer for a very cool concept, very cool cookbook. Um, I mean, why wouldn't you get it? So uh, it just, you know, sometimes don't make the mistake that you have to overwrite something because you don't, don't, not, not in all cases. If the target market is, uh, not that sophisticated, let's say, or if you're offering something that has very, very low risk for people, then you don't necessarily have to like write these monster sales pages. So let's take a look at this one. And uh, the, the interesting, the main thing, the takeaway that you have to, like it's advisable that you take this away from this video is that this is a direct offer with a direct lead, okay? And this has uh, repercussions for the whole uh, sales page itself because uh, it means that you don't have to spend so much time like describing the problem and agitating the problem and maybe reframing false beliefs that people have when it comes to paleo or something like that. No, you just basically like put it out there and say, here it is. It's something that uh, Dan Kennedy, one of the most like well-known uh, direct response marketing uh, experts ever and master copywriter said is that a direct lead is, is kind of like, um, like you can't have a direct lead which is half pregnant, which means that, you know, if either someone's pregnant or not pregnant. So you can't have a direct lead which which is like, like pitching something in a, in a, in a half-ass way, okay? Either you're pitching it or you're not pitching it. You have to decide. And with this one, we're pitching it all of like right off the bat. So it's like, it's an interesting analogy, but like um, how, you know, some people, uh, like you cannot have someone who's half pregnant or, 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 or something like that. Either they are or they're not. And the same thing with this one. So always remember when you're writing copy, you really have to pick a strategy and you have to stick to it. So I'm just rumbling a bit, bit here with this, but I guess that's my cool outcome here. So let's take a look at, at the whole thing itself. So the pre-head says, hurry while supplies last. And basically the headline only says, limited stock, here's your chance to get our most popular paleo cookbook free. And then the subhead, discover the joy of making decadently delicious yet simple gourmet paleo meals. Pretty cool, like nothing's fancy, but do believe it that, you know, this company, Paleo Hacks, they're a huge direct response company. They test everything. And uh, probably they tried so many headline variations and this is what uh, what was the winner. Uh, at, well, at least when, you know, this screenshot was made of the sales page itself. But uh, basically what's happening here is that we have the urgency, scarcity element. It's like hurry while supplies last and also limited stock. This also relates to the scarcity element. Here's your chance to get our most popular. So most popular basically implies that, that this is something good that people want, so it acts as proof. Free, obviously this is the uh, interesting part in the headline. This commands instant attention. 
And then uh, I really like the subhead here, which says, discover the joy of making decadently delicious yet simple gourmet paleo meals. So discover the joy. I like how this focuses on the emotion itself. It's like you really do feel a joy when you finally find something that you've been looking for for so long, like a cookbook which has uh, delicious, like gourmet quality, almost gourmet quality meals, but that are also simple to prepare. So this is a pretty, pretty killer combination. And, and it, I like how the writer here focused on the emotion of joy decadently delicious i like this because it's nice alliteration so decadently delicious it it kind of implies this type of like it's almost like uh, you should feel guilty that it's so delicious it's like it's like a cake or something which is decadent and delicious but you can get the same feeling with a paleo meal now and it's simple it's very important to like try to position your offer always as something that's simple because uh, that's what people want. They're busy. They don't have time to like do these super uh, elaborate cooking schemes. Uh, nowadays, not many people have the time for this. Uh, so whenever you can highlight the simplicity of your product, that it works for everybody, that it's easy to do, it's definitely a big plus. And you get gourmet paleo meals. So it's like it assumes that this is sophisticated. This is something high quality. But that's the headline itself. In the background, we have like some nice uh foods that you know as i'm looking at them i already start salivating they look really nice and the rest is just like this this organic natural type of wood texture and that's it so um after the headline complex we have a cool picture which uh it's an interesting choice as a picture to be honest i don't know why this company chose this picture Probably it um, it kind of gets people in the mood like it it highlights how the preparation of these paleo meals looks like and it kind of so, kind of like pulls them into the action. So maybe this is something that activates certain regions in their minds that is responsible for doing something. And if that's activated, maybe it's more likely for them to do something in the sense that they buy this, okay? This is just a hypothesis. I'm not exactly sure about this, but this is my, my guess as to why uh, this exact picture was uh, chosen. So after the picture, we have a very, very uh short lead itself because the lead includes the headline complex and the first few paragraphs of the uh, sales message itself so basically all we get is, is like a quick intro to the uh, face behind this campaign it's like hi i'm peter servold co-founder of one of the most popular paleo meal service delivery services on the internet and in my new recipe book, I've created gourmet restaurant worthy recipes that are not only paleo friendly, but simple, easy, and extremely fast. Let me give you an idea of what makes this particular recipe book so special. So yeah, we have just like a quick intro to establish authority. It's like, who are you and why should I trust you? It answers that objection. Then we get um, once again, the reminder that everything mentioned here is simple. It's easy and it's extremely tasty. So everybody wants these things. These are like the quality of life improvement benefits that people are looking for. And then there's a little intro to the unique mechanism itself. So uh, even if you're doing a direct lead or a direct offer, it's still advisable to at least mention your product's unique mechanism, like why it's something unique, why it's something unlike any other thing on the market right now. And we get a taste into why that is. It's because, unknown to most people, I've led a secret double life. Besides being co-founder of Pete's Paleo with my lovely wife, Sarah, I'm an experienced professional Le Cordon Bleu trained chef. So pretty interesting, right? Uh, this part grabs attention. Obviously, as people are scrolling, they can immediately notice this. And... Uh, this also like commands instant authority because yes, many people put out cookbooks and maybe they're like your, I don't know, like run in a mill type of, 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 of cooks. But how many paleo cooks do you know who are also like high level professional chefs who could work at, in like Michelin star restaurants or something? Well, not many. And uh, that's why this, this is pretty unique because like people, people are feeling at this point hopefully, that, you know, 
Fool, this guy, he's really something. And uh, like, is it really possible to learn extremely tasty paleo recipes that can be prepared easily and simply and quickly from a book? I'm starting to think like, like it is. And that's what you want in your readers. So after this part, we have like an explanation of what this means for lay people. So basically, this means that, uh, you know, I'm a very prestigious chef. That's what it means. Because not many people speak French or like, have an idea of what this actually means. Then we have some uh, proof elements like credibility building more. It's in, in like, you know, I've been featured in Bon Appetit magazine as well. And uh, after, you know, like giving people the unique mechanism, some proof elements, uh, we go into the problem section. So once again, like every single copywriting message or sales message has some type of like problem and solution framework because ultimately what you want as a like salesman copywriter marketing professional anybody who wants to like compel people to take action is to take them from their current imperfect situation and show them the journey the way that can lead them to their future ideal situation that's what you want that's the whole sales transaction that's happening and if you can convince them of this thing you win uh they will like take you up on your offer so uh that's what's happening here, like after a little intro and authority building and credibility building and teasing the unique mechanism, uh, we, we get exposed to the problem. And the problem is that, you know, in the paleo community, quality recipe books written by trained, experienced chefs like me, gourmet or not, are rare. So, you know, this obviously neg neg uh, negates all other types of, uh, of uh, competing solutions. So it also like establishes why this book is unique. And that's exactly why I created Paleo Eat. So boom, we already have the solution. So after the problem, we immediately have the solution. There's no agitation here or anything like that because it's not needed because this is a direct offer, something very direct, it's not needed, but but the, the, the same structure still remains in the sense that you need to like describe a problem and then offer a solution. So we immediately get the product shot, which is Paleo Eats, real food, real simple. We can immediately see the unique selling proposition like all throughout this page. It's like you get cool, real food, which is delicious and it's easy, that's it. So uh, after that, we got another um, reference to the USP by saying that Paleo Eats is written for the paleo person looking for more than the usual boring beef or steamed broccoli. So who is this for? It qualifies, it establishes once again itself as uh, a category of one. So then we have a big promise, which says that each gourmet chef prepared recipe is simple and easy to make, usually under 30 minutes. And then we have uh, like an empowering sentence, which also acts as like a, a, an objection handling element. But because the copywriter says, yes, you really can make gourmet polio dishes like these yourself. And there's the big picture. So problem, uh, qualification and unique selling proposition and then objection handling and boom, here you have an image. And as you can see, this sales page is very, um, very visual. It has a bunch of visual elements going for it, not much text at all. There's a bunch of pictures and, and, uh, and, and big flashy colors. So that's what you want, I mean, you know, the, the whole concept of food and cooking and everything, it's a very olfactory experience. So it means that it has to do with like smelling, but it's also a very visual type of thing because look at these foods here. You can look at the colors and everything. It uh, it makes you pop. It I'm sure that it activates a certain part of the brain that is responsible for pleasure or something like that or uniqueness. So that's exactly why there's a bunch of um, like showcased foods as well here. So after saying you can also make these dishes a reality, we have like juicy demonstration number one, this Mongolian red pepper beef roasted spaghetti squash and saute Swiss chard. Um, just a small explanation after it. It's like, hey, you know, now you can cook this easily. Or like chicken and okra stew. I don't even know what okra is, but looks good. Uh, and then Juicy demonstration number three, skirt steak with roasted broccoli and cucumber, radish and red onion salad. So, you know, if you're into paleo or even if you're not into paleo, I've been into paleo for some time now. I'm more of an omnivore. 
uh, once again, but um, it looks delicious and I can, just by looking at it, I can see how healthy it is, okay? And I, and I get hungry, I just had lunch by the way, but I get hungry just by looking at it once again, because to me, the, the deliciousness and the healthy aspect, it just makes it more appealing to this. This okra stew, not so much maybe, but this one, once again, is pretty interesting. And then you have a bunch of other pictures. So this is like, it overloads your brain with a bunch of colors and, and creativity. So after this, many people are, are, are feeling that, you know, wow, I mean, this recipe book really must be something because are all these foods like made from recipes that are included in the book? Wow, I mean, they look really good. I gotta get myself one of these. It's free as well, so why not? I mean, free plus shipping, but it's still very, very affordable. So after this, you also get the uh, text-based confirmation that yes, you have 80 great tasting gourmet paleo recipes to impress. So uh, these are basically the features of the product. And once again, after presenting an offer, usually you present the features, you present the benefits of the product, you present the benefits of the benefits, and there's a specific offer structure that goes on that's proven to work. And you know, that, that works, that basically most copywriting just uses or reuses in some way, shape or form. But in this case, since this is such a direct lead and a direct offer, there's no, like, you don't have to overinflate this part once again. You just give them what's inside. So you get, give benefit, like, uh, features number one. You get 80 recipes. You get feature number two, which is like, it's gluten free, grain free, dairy free, soy free, sugar free, no processed ingredients. But you also get benefits in the sense that because of some of the features that are inside, you get simple, easy, quick tasty, no matter what the occasion. And uh, you also, another cool higher level benefit, because these, these first batch, these are what I call ease of life benefits. So everybody wants something that's simpler, easier, quicker, tastier, better, cheaper, something like that. Whenever you can highlight that for your own product or your client's product, it's definitely something uh, really valuable to most listeners or people. Uh, but we also have higher level benefits, which is like, yes, because of these things, and because of the 80 recipes, which remember is the feature, you'll be able to impress even the pickiest of paleo guests, yet are a kinch to uh, throw together. So you'll impress others, which means you'll be the, the cool person in the group, okay? So that's a higher level benefit because it has to do with like pride. Or something it's and, and and see how you know this is practically selling a paleo cookbook but ultimately in part at least it's selling the ability to impress others so it's not necessarily just for you it's to impress other paleo friends because what I think happens in this niche uh, is that many people who are interested in paleo have friends who are also interested in paleo and they can like you know, impress others. And it's a good thing because it raises their social status. So it triggers a bunch of other type of higher level benefits, uh, ultimately, which the copywriter probably knew. So then we have a bunch of other uh, benefits listed here, which are the benefits of paleo itself. So it's not regarding the book itself. The writer isn't trying to overhype the book itself. He's or he or she is trying to just, um, just, uh, uh, establish this book like they're trying to establish nodding from the reader like as they're reading it probably they're interested in paleo they're gonna be like yes oh yeah totally agree oh yeah I, I want to eat something that's low glycemic oh yeah yeah I want to boost my energy wow I can also get my skin, skin glow obviously I want that I mean it will reduce my allergies as well wow I want that so you get a bunch of mini yeses so that later on when the call to action button comes uh, they're more likely to purchase this this is more of an advanced uh, psychological thing but I wanted to cover it so that you know what's happening here but you know it's uh, all the things that are important for our target audience these benefits so features plus benefits featured is like is like you know these foods are low glycemic that's a feature what this means and which is the benefit is that 
It doesn't screw up your blood sugar, keeps fat off your body, keeps you lean. Uh, boost your energy. This is, once again, could be a feature. The benefit, no more afternoon fading. So what this means translated into your own life. So after the list of these features and benefits, we get a personal transformation mini story from the creator of this. So like, once again, you start feeling like this guy knows what he's talking about and you can trust him because look at this transformation before. He lost, uh, he lost 60 pounds just by eating paleo, okay? Uh, and then we also have a, a value anchor here, which says, given the incredible documented health benefits of paleo, plus my training, experience, and reputation, my publisher says I should expect paleo eats to be embraced way beyond the paleo community. Because what's happening here? So this is a free plus shipping offer. This means that the whole offer is uh, positioned in a way that you say it's free, people only have to pay for shipping, but like the shipping is a little bit more expensive. So uh, obviously the company doesn't really make profit with this, but they still buy customers at a discount. And they, even if they can buy customers at a loss even, on the back end, they will sell them other stuff. They will sell them other books, memberships, courses, I don't know, other things like subscription services, something like that. And uh, that's how they ultimately make money. But how you wanna um, like angle this as on the front end, because this is something called the front end offer, and it goes out to cold audiences. So Facebook ads, Google ads, YouTube ads, they all like funnel traffic to this specific page. Uh, and that's why, you know, it's angled as something which is free. Um, but it's very important to also establish that even though this is free, it has huge value. So I think that's the reason why this value anchor was was brought up here, because like we want the reader to feel like, yes, this is free, but it doesn't mean that like it's it's cheap as well, because it's still super valuable and many people want this. OK, so uh, the recipes are so good that there's a huge demand for this. And in fact, I'm going to I'm I can give it to you for free. I mean, my publisher. So there, there's a reason why behind the story. So my publisher has agreed to like give away 500 copies of this book for free only to like popularize it. But you got to uh, hurry because like once these 500 books are gone, they're gone. I mean, it makes sense to hurry because if you want to get it for free, then act now. Otherwise, you'll be able to buy it later for $20. So would you pick free now or would you pick $20 later? Well, obviously, it's free now. So that's the whole thing that's happening here. So then we have the call to action, big ass button, ship me my book, uh, ship me the book. And notice how this call to action, once again, it's in first person and you have multiple highlights that it's free. So it's like, click here to claim your, your free copy. So some people don't like to click on these buttons. So for them, there's another link here as well. Uh, here it's also written that it's free. Here it's so, so many people still think that maybe this is a scam uh, because like, how can this be free? I mean, the company has to make money some way, right? And they don't understand how these, the business model of this company works. They don't understand how there's a back end component to this. And people, the company makes most of its money by later selling new stuff to these new customers who are much more likely to buy something rather than leads who are not buyers themselves. Okay. And that's why it's super important to highlight that this is free and also very importantly, but this is really, really important here. Seriously, we have uh, a paragraph that specifies that, no, this is not a scam. In case you're wondering, this is not a free trial. This is indeed free, free. You just pay for shipping. That's it. So this acts as objection handling and it also uh, like gives a reason why behind the freeness of it. So it's like it says, nothing will be rebuilt on this offer ever. This is a one-time shipping charge and not a free trial. This cookbook is true, truly 100% free and is our way of getting exposure to a new cookbook without massive advertising budgets. So even though they do have the massive advertising budget, in terms of math in numbers and KPIs, it still makes sense to uh, to advertise this free plus shipping offer because it converts way better than like a higher price paid offer, which uh, would make 
more money for them obviously but way people are going way less people are going to buy it so there's a bunch of math that goes behind this but i really like this paragraphs and i do encourage you to also use this if you have a free plus shipping offer because uh some people will be wondering and they'll have objections they'll they'll feel like this this is just too good to be true i mean i i i, I don't want it what if what if i click on this and like I don't know, I get a virus or I get scammed or I get charged multiple times. So this is there to alleviate the fears. So after this, we get a, a recap of what you get. You get, you know, a bunch of recipes. Uh, every recipe is super simple to prepare. It's like it takes less than 30 minutes. Everything is paleo friendly. And like my publisher is giving away the first 500 promotional copies for just the cost of shipping. So once again, we get basically a quick recap of everything that the sales letter has been talking about so far. Uh, really important to have this because some people are still just scrolling and, you know, their eyes are going to catch these or like even if they read it, like maybe they need a reminder of what's going on here. So after it, we have a few testimonials. Interestingly, there's no picture for these. I don't know why. I think using pictures as well would be more effective, but they probably tested this and for some reason this worked better. I don't know. So after the testimonials, which obviously acts as big social proof, we have an urgency based call to action. So basically what the copywriter just says is that like, so, okay, so go ahead and click the button now before all the 500 copies are, are are gone. That's it. And there, then there's a little sign-off, friendly little sign-off for uh, Peter, who's like the name behind this uh, specific promotion. And then in the PS, we have one more scarcity reminder. It's very, very, this promotion has a very strong scarcity element to it. And as you can see, like people have been reminded so many times that this is a, a limited time thing, because the thing that you got to understand with free stuff is that whenever people uh, notice that something is free, they immediately lower the value of it. They immediately start feeling like, oh, cool, free, uh, but... I'm just gonna like grab it and save it for later, but then they, they're not gonna look at it or like they're gonna be like, you know, if it's free, I mean, it's good. I mean, I'm gonna get it, but like how good can it could it be for free? But no, in this promotion, the copywriter took extra care to like highlight how, yes, this is free, but only for a limited time. So uh, normally this costs $20, but now if you are within the first 500 buyers, you can get this book for free, okay? And then we have a bunch of reminders for this. Even the PS says that I encourage you don't delay. The 500 promotional copies will be snapped up fast. Click the button below now. And then we have once again the big ass call to action button with the very smart objection handling plus reason why uh, type of uh, explanation of why you should hurry now. So yeah, that's it. It's not a long page at all. It's mostly made out of pictures, but it's still a very, very nice example of a free plus shipping offer. And if you or one of your clients are using these uh, or want to use these, now you have a better idea of how you can make something like this a reality. So hope you enjoyed this. If you did, then please like the video and also share it with others and subscribe to the channel if you're new here, because uh, it's really needed for the algorithm to notice these videos and the YouTube algorithm to notice these videos and to show it to more and more people because there's a bunch of people who are interested in these but like they can't find it because YouTube doesn't really promote this type of long form content that I'm doing and I don't want to make like funny cat videos I know it would convert way better and it would like it would have many 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 more views but uh, this is what I love doing to break down uh, proven copywriting examples and sales pages. And I know that there's a lot of people out there who are also interested in this. Uh, but the only way to get more exposure to these videos is for you to uh, like it, to share it with others, to comment under it, leave a comment like the, with the number one thing that you learned from this. Uh, or like you agree or disagree with my analysis. And that helps me out tremendously. So thank you so much for this. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.